Matthew 21, 2. Matthew 21. What do you think? On verse 28. Verse 28 there was here. a man who had two sons, and he came to the first and said, Son, go and work in the vineyard. And he answered, I will not. But afterward, he regretted it and changed his mind and went. Then the man came to the second son and said the same thing. He replied, I will, he said. But he did not go. Which of the two did the will of the father? The chief priests and elders replied, the first one. Jesus said to them, I assure you and most solemnly say to you that the tax collectors and the prostitutes will get into the kingdom of God before you. For, can you see the verse there? Huh? All right, let's pray. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for your word. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. I want to share with you a very small message, and I want to pray for you. I want to teach you about willingness, because willingness is an act you need after you hear. Your act is determined after you hear. You are checked after you hear. If there is nothing that is making you tired. What the devil wants to do is to make you tired. So that when God remind, check your actions, you must consider them weak. So your response to his word must be as strong as you are blessed, even as you are poor. So there must not be anything that altered your response. That is willingness. So God wants you to be willing. When you say stand up, you stand even if there is nothing to tell you to stand. Or something that is blocking you to stand. You defy it. When and we do it exactly what God wants you to do. Look here. When we talk about willingness, check Jesus was teaching it here. Jesus said there was a son who heard the father say, I'm sending you there. Very fast. He said, I'm not going. Later he regretted. Because automatically you have to recheck yourself after you hear that your response is needed positively. Listen, because your, your positiveness of responding when you are hearing him speaking must be of regretting what can tell you don't do that. I don't know if you are hearing that. So now this first one he said I'm not going. Later, when you look at himself, he says, why am I denying the assignment of the Father? He never go and say, I'm changing. He went. But the second one said, I'm not going. And then he mean it by, by saying, I'm going, whereas he can't do what he said. And Jesus, when he answered, he said, be careful that you must know that your response when it is required can end up determining you and later you can be rejected and you find someone who has been asked that the same thing entering before you. 
You know, when I was learning this, I had that. Whatever you are hearing, it's not a new thing. Somebody has been asked the same question. But how you respond to it is being checked. That is your willingness. So whether you have been asked before or later, it is not the issue. Whether you are saved in the morning or afternoon, it is not the issue. What is the issue is how is your response? How are you willing? If God said do this, do you do that with all your heart? Or you have some reasons of not doing that. Even if it's positive for you not to do that. But you are demanded to do exactly that God wants you to do. I don't know if you are hearing me. When Jesus spoke about the regret of the one who denied, it shows that it was not not easy at the first place for him to do it. But when he sees the importance of the one who sent him, he saw it was important for him to do it. Can I tell you this? Many times God gives us assignments and the same assignments we are receiving you find that Paul and Peter went through that. The challenges you are facing are not new. Even what the Bible says, the temptations we are going through, even the prophets face that. So the issue is how far is your willingness to do what God wants you to do. I was hearing that God wants to raise people here who don't even have experience to enter the place where people who have got experience has not even entered. How God works is he check our willingness. If you are there and he tells you what you are supposed to do but you look at yourself as it is impossible he will give that assignment to another person. I don't know if you are hearing me. I'm here to tell you that someone will be replaced. To the replace you, Wanamusi. Tell you about someone will be replaced. Your willingness is being checked all the time. When God places you in an assignment, He also checks if you have done it correctly. And if not, it can be done by someone. I was hearing that God will begin to bring some people who are willing. And those people are you. You are the people that God is raising. When he speaks, he will do without, without compromise. God wants to raise people like you. It is your time to agree. Even if there are regrets, you carry on doing. If you believe, shout hallelujah. If you read 1 Corinthians 9.17, we see willingness bringing a reward. Sometimes God put you to a place where when you look, you don't see anything that is coming. But because of the excitement of your doing, 
God can still place you there. Listen, your willingness will bring a reward. Look what happened to Joshua. When other people are seeing the children of Anak, that it is impossible to defeat the giants. This man say, let's go now. Because God has spoken. Your willingness defy the physical challenges. Because before you reach there, God will allow your willingness to teach you to reach there. There is no difference between your willingness and going through preparation of the living God. I don't know if you are hearing that. When you are you know, in the level of your willing, when God says, come this side, you go. Come this side, you go. It's preparation on you. And when you reach there, you reach there because you were willing. The first thing that God must give you is not money. It's not a house. It's a willing heart. I don't know if you hear me. And that willing heart will make you to, to pass the preparation stage. And that stage will take you to I don't know if you're hearing me. Because though you can't see where you are going, but you believe God is taking you there. So your willingness defy all the challenges and takes you at the end. I don't know if you're hearing me. Listen, it's out of your willingness that your focus will be shaped and your sight will be clear. Because, listen, you could not just tolerate to come to church without a promise. So your willingness makes the promises of God to be clear on you and your focus will be fixed on those promises until God show up. So many of us it's not that we are seeing things or better things that we are receiving. It's the willing heart that God gave you. Though it's tough you are going. Though it's so difficult you are on the road. Though you are blocked you could still see yourself there. Why? Because of that willing heart. I, I want to prophesy somewhere. That preparatory stage is over. This is the time of taking your blessing. The time of taking a reward. Receive that reward in the name of Jesus. In Luke 22, verse 42, Jesus said, Father, your will is my will. Let your will be done. Can you see somebody see the cross? But he said, let your will be done. Jesus knew what will happen after the cross? Because your, your willingness gives you prophetic eyes. I don't know if you hear me. Your willingness gives you prophetic eyes. You know, I just remember one day when I was just looking at my church. <laughs> I asked myself. If God, you have called me, why I have people like of this kind? Because, listen to this. That is the way Moses 
could not reach Kenneth. Always his focus will be on the people and forget God's will. Because God's will was, it was mentioned from the beginning. Um, Moses, you are taking this people. You are taking them to Kenneth. Whether they are crazy on the road, don't mind, but there's Kenneth. If you have got a willing heart, you can ignore what they are doing, but there is Kenneth. Because of Kenneth, though these people are misbehaving, tell yourself, your assignment is to take them there. Listen to this. I can give you an example. You see a driver of the bus. He doesn't care. If he's taking you people to Venda, he just drive. You can talk whatever you're talking about. He's he knew where he's going to rest. I don't know if you're hearing me. That's willingness does on you. You need to know where God is taking you. And if you know where God is taking you, you won't mind when people say you are not going there. Because you know at the end, you will reach there. I don't know if you are hearing me. I'm praying that God must give you a willing heart. That willing heart will you know, despite all odds, you will meet this, you will meet that, you will meet that. But at the end, you will enjoy because you know the destiny has been placed. I don't know if you are hearing me. Check somebody and say, hey, I can see what I'm seeing around me, but, but I've got a willing heart. Sometimes it's difficult, but I've got a willing heart. God has given me can you see if you focus on people around you they can make your eyes not to see clear they can make your journey to be difficult have you ever find when you are with people and now these people they don't believe in what you believe in you will pray to reach there but even if they are talking what they are talking around you if you know where you are going you just say hey, I know I know I'm going there I know let them talk what they are talking because the willingness the willingness open your spiritual eyes to see your destiny there is someone who is listening to me. I prophesy that person. As, as you are listening, let the willingness take you to where God is placing you. If you believe, shout hallelujah. Read Matthew 26 verse 41. Let's read that verse. Maybe you will understand. How many of you understand what I'm talking about? Sometimes it's not easy to come to church. I'm sure you understand that. Sometimes it's not easy even to read the Bible. But because of this willingness, it just stirs up joy and desire out of those difficult situations. Can you read it in Pedi, Mama? That statement shows that it is not easy when the flesh is there. I want to tell you this so that you understand. Sometimes we are too much in the flesh and you realize that any action you want to take is difficult to take. When Jesus looked at the disciples, he said, uh, the, the willingness has been taken by the desires of the flesh. Sometimes the desires of the flesh weaken your spirit. Your spirit is 
you reach a level whereby you, Satan will show you things around you. But your spirit is willing, but because you are comparing yourself with others, because devil is showing you where you are lacking, and you find you are failing to, to do what God wants you to do. Not long I was beginning to ask myself if we have Christians who can pray the whole night. And I found that you see, because of the weary things in our flesh, we, we become so much busy thinking. And, and by the time when we want to go to the word and prayer, we find that we are so tired there. Maybe that is why dry fasting is needed. I don't know if you're hearing me. Because that's what I want to implement. We, we, we need a willing heart. And willingness will follow. We'll reach a level where we don't look at our flesh. We deal with our flesh like Paul. So that God will begin to work. I don't know if you're hearing me. There, there are some things that devil is showing us. And make us to focus on what our flesh needs. And those things and are there to worry us. Sometimes you look at yourself, you look at the ability of your flesh, your knowledge, you look at what you can achieve in life, and devil began to show you, you can't reach there. And your spirit began to be tired when you want to pray, when you want to focus on the things of God, you find that everything is blank. When you pray, you find that it's like like there's a rock on top of your, of your head. And this is the time now that we overcome all desires of the flesh so that when the spirit of the living God leads us to do things, we do those things in fullness. There is joy when you walk in the spirit. I don't know if you are hearing me. There is joy when you are led by the spirit. There are some people who are here today after this service, the spirit of the Lord will lead you. You'll be able to walk in the spirit. The, the, the desires of the flesh will never block you. I don't know if you are hearing me. I prophesy greatness in your spirit. I prophesy in palming ways in your spirit. And you will receive renewal in your spirit to extend that you will be led to your destiny if you believe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We sorrow. The, the, the disciples were asleep. They're the, the thinking about everything that Jesus spoke. I'll go away. You know, I'll be betrayed. Now, now they are flesh. They were just reasoning. Them. Jesus gave them to pray. They and Jesus could pray without tiredness until his sweat becomes like blood. Until he ends up and says, let your will be. Let your will. Let your will. Until Jesus can say, for me to die is your will, so I'm not afraid to die. Let your will. What I'm facing is good. Is good. Let, let this suffering, let it be your will. Let, let this will be done. Let your will. 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 Let you know, I was hearing this thing of how God can raise prophets. Yeah. Uh, it's willingness. willingness. They are sitting, they are praying. There's a desire of going to the, the word. word. Willingness. Just willing, loving the things of God more than any other thing. I don't know if you're hearing me. And now, some things started to be established in them. Willingness. Now, it's issues of desiring. I want to see. I want to see. Okay, now, 
one is no. I have to study the word. I'm enjoying it now. You do it until joy. Until it becomes part of you. That willingness to bring you to be part with that thing. You cannot be separated with the Bible. Your is 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 your joy. I need to see Christians who are enjoying the word, who are enjoying prayer, who, who are just walking in tongues, who, who are speaking in tongues. I don't know if you're hearing me. If we reach that level, we will have Christians who have got willingness, who will bring the will of God on earth. And this is you this year. If you believe, shout hallelujah. If you are willingness, write that down. If you are willingness, you bring the will of God on earth. If you are willingness, you bring The will of God. On earth. The meaning is. The word of God will be fulfilled. Through your life. Number two. Your willingness. Will de determine the dependence that will be visible to many on you. Dependence that will be visible to many on you. People will look at you and say, this man has got nothing to depend on except God. This man. He can't do this thing unless he's having God. I don't know if you're hearing me. So the dependence of God will be clear. When people look at you, they will see you depend on God. And the dependence of God, the dependence of God will be clear to extend that people will see the manifestation of that dependence on you. I don't know if you're hearing that. Number three, Willingness will rearrange things around you for the glory of the living God. In other words, this will go, but it's for the glory. This will come, it's for the glory. Some friends will go, right friends will come. Will rearrange things. There are some things must go. Some things must come. Some shapes must go. Some shapes must go. You'll be surprised. Somebody you love so much divorcing you. You question, ah, how come I face divorce? No, the willingness will just remove some people you don't need. Though you have got something to do with them, they must go. Can you remember the story of Abigail? Abigail. When Abigail said, ah, ah sorry, my Lord. You know Abigail. my husband is foolish. And David said, hey, you have done well. I wanted to kill that man by myself. And God said, hey, because she did the will, I will kill this man by myself. That's willingness. Willingness will rearrange some things. You can move from this house to this one. Not because you can afford but because God is rearranging you. Allow God to rearrange you. Tell us, my friend, allow God to rearrange you. You have arranged yourself. Allow God to rearrange you. Can you see what willingness does? I'm seeing that willingness has helped this mama. Can you see that mama? Ma. Okay. Willingness has helped you. I'm prophesying this, Mama. Ke professor ya mau. Willingness has helped you. Orata boli tushiche. Because in her heart she has got, she has got a spirit of praising Him. Banale pelo oba orata o tushiche. Of following God. Ono shala mo demo fela maras. And this 
is bringing salvation and to the whole family. She, she was even asking herself. There was a time I told you that your husband will follow you. Yes, and then he is here. Huh? He came. He came here. You professor me on the 23rd of March and then on the 26th of March he started attending some Well, I'm professor like I did 23, I did 26 about tomorrow. Willingness. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Ashiba one. This man, Papa. listen, listen, I want to tell you this. You, you must know it's a sign of God. This man, what he did this man, when, when I was speaking with her, God began to open his eyes. And he said, look at your wife. Can you see your wife? Eh? Because mm. willingness rearranged things. So the eyes was open. He said, can you look at your wife? Your life, she has got nothing she depends on. She, is it true, sir? What I'm talking about? Huh? It's true. It's true. Is it true? And you say, uh, my wife, my. she loves God so much, but why me? You see, when I was busy prophesying, the, the husband was not there, and he was not even minding about the things of God. But now, because of the willingness, open the eyes of the woman or the man and he began to say, no, 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 no. No, uh, no I must follow my wife. Is it true, sir? Is it true what I'm saying? It's true. You were not there when I was speaking with your wife. No, 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 no. And I don't know you. Eh? No, no, no. I don't even know you. Because that day I just had matape, matape. I said, I just said something like matape or matape will be saved. I don't know your name, sir. What is your name? My name is Motsepe. 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 That's what I heard that day. Willingness. Willingness. Open your understanding.